going on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to deactivate all of your PlayStation systems that's right I get this question from time to time so I figured I'd go ahead and throw up a video tutorial on how to deactivate your PlayStation 4 PlayStation 3 and even the Vita with one click of a button you can deactivate them all at once or you can deactivate them individually and I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that the link to get into your account management will be in the video description as well a lot of times people ask me about this um, and if you guys are curious and you don't know why you would want to deactivate your PlayStation 4 let's say for whatever reason uh, you no longer have your PlayStation 4 uh, you forget to deactivate it but now here you are you purchase a brand new uh, PlayStation 4 and uh, your account is activated on another PlayStation 4 you can go onto this website deactivate it and then you will be able to activate whatever PlayStation 4 PlayStation 3 or even the Vita uh, systems you want uh, hopefully that pretty much sums it up for you if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below let's get right into it so first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, see this box here it's gonna look a lot similar a little bit different but a lot similar to what we're seeing here so what you're gonna want to do is put in your sign-in ID your sign-in ID is usually your email address that you uh, associate with your PlayStation Network account and then you're going to want to enter your password. Once you do that, you hit sign in, and then it will bring you to the dashboard page of the Sony Entertainment Network.com website where you can go in and manage your uh, PlayStation Network account. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm falling. Wow, look at that. Three cents. <laughs> that is a record. Uh, so anyways, you can go through it. Feel free to browse through it. You can, um, you can redeem your prepaid cards. You can uh, view transaction history, account details. You can get into that. Uh, you can see service access status. You can see all of your media. So I have currently 717 games uh, available for me to download at any given time, I guess. And then 25 uh, different media, maybe movies. Um, I really don't know um, and then this is gonna be the the short and easy way to do it and I'll show you um, the the way if you want to activate or deactivate one by one so this is actually gonna deactivate all of them so once you're in the dashboard you go to account from account on the left hand side as you guys are seeing right here go to media and devices when you go to media and devices here is the magic button now it is indicating that for uh, for game I have activated devices uh, three PlayStation systems I have a PlayStation 3 I have a PlayStation 4 and the Vita um, if I click on this button and then it asks if I'm sure if I want to continue uh, you press yes and it will deactivate all of my PlayStation system so uh, it will deactivate them all so if I wanted to reactivate them I would have to log on to my PlayStation 4 PlayStation 3 and or even the Vita and then activate them again keep in mind that if you do this and you deactivate all of your devices for game media this action can only be performed once every six months so be very careful with that I'm actually not going to click yes because of the mere fact that you can only do it every six months now there is a possibility if you call up Sony and you know for whatever reason you need to do it you can call up Sony and they'll most likely make an exception with a long it, you'll be on the phone for hours dudes I'm just telling you right away um, if you if you need to do it more than uh, every six months uh, and you need Sony to make an exception for you that's always an option you can call their 1-800 number and do it that way but it's it, it's gonna take some negotiating on your part um, and this will deactivate it so um, if you deactivate your system you will no longer be able to play downloaded content 
um, if you want to play downloaded content again you'll have to go into account management and then the menu and devices so um, let's go ahead and go back to dashboard because I'm pretty sure I'll get this question monkey flop well I don't want to deactivate all of my systems how do I just deactivate one of my systems so as you guys can see here um, I, devices are is in the dashboard uh, you can go into PlayStation systems and they will all be there uh, let's say you're in the dashboard and you you don't see this for whatever reason you can go into devices once you go into the devices PlayStation systems and there you guys go I have the PlayStation 3 PlayStation Vita and the PS4 I click on the PlayStation uh, Vita I, I can actually deactivate it uh, right here uh, it's pretty cool because I can nickname my PlayStation Vita if I want um, under this and and I can even uh, change the device type which why would I do that but uh, nicknaming would be cool uh, my PS4 monkey flop oh I gotta press that it uh, <laughs> monkey flop I'm pressing all kinds of buttons I don't even know why all right, cool. Um, so <laughs> I don't even know why I just nicknamed my PS4 Monkey Flop. Everybody, go nickname your PS4 Monkey Flop. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay, look there it is, Monkey Flop. Okay, so hopefully that answered your guys's questions. Let me know again if you guys have any other questions. Let me know in the comment section below. You guys can always reach out to me on Twitter. This is usually where I answer how to activate or deactivate your PlayStation 4 system if you no longer have it. Um, but like I said, you can hit me up in the comment section below. You can message me on Twitter. I'm always available on Twitter. My DMs are open, by the way, so you can feel free to follow me if you want. That would be awesome. Uh, but the DMs are open either way, so you can always... It's, it's, it's an open-door policy. You can ask you know pretty much any question you want um, and then I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can um, it just depends because sometimes I'm pretty pretty overloaded with a lot of things so that being said if you would take two seconds out of your day hit a like that really helps me out if you guys haven't already subscribed I keep you guys up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4 PlayStation Plus news updates all that good stuff so you don't have to anyways I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.